I like sucking, but I ain't gay. Legit fat podcast. Fuck those hogs. Ben is also here. Yes, the whole gang. Don't even have a button for that this time. Uh, faggots. So oh, there. That, that works. But this is kind of a planet retard slash, you know, regular show. So. What up, retarded faggots? I know uh, Chance in the Telegram loves that one, so I had to post that. Uh, what else is there? Uh, if you want to support the show, send it to a friend. Or visit our sponsors. Or send us money. Just fucking send us money. <laughs> that works too. But tonight we have returning champion Moral Bob from Hidden in Plain Sight, which is on hold right now, isn't it? Yeah, I'm I'm from, I'm officially from Are We Content with Chud. Oh, I haven't haven't done my show in like, I think over a year now. Yeah, check The anniversary was Easter because my last episode was called Fuck Easter and Fuck You Too, which... (laughs) And not knowing that was going to be my last episode, that's not a bad last episode to leave. You know, I'm kind of proud of that one. I'm like, hey, if that's the one that gets is the last one. And say That's kind of a gangster to way to go out. <laughs> like, just fuck everybody. That's awesome. Well, yeah. uh, Ch- Chud X from uh, Adam Gets Red Pilled, too, right? Right. Yeah, it's Chud's show or officially. I'm just the Adam. Talent, you know? Sorry. Deborah Gets Red Pilled. Jesus, it's yeah. Adam that does the show. I haven't talked to him in forever. Adam? What he's doing up there. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. I haven't talked to him in a long time either. Chud's doing good, man. He just had a baby. Uh-oh. They, yeah, they fucking... They just had a baby. Was, I was uh, going to say, oh, that sucks. I mean, good for him. Yay. <laughs> Some of us enjoy it. So, <laughs> you know. I got five and counting. Chud's trying to catch up. He's on his third. Wait, you're still so. counting? Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, I'm not ever stop going to stop. Ahead, bro. I'm not ever going to stop doing what leads to children. So, <laughs> it's it's really a game of Russian roulette. So, you know, it really is. I don't, Which one's the blank cylinder? I don't hmm. trust doctors, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get snipped. Um, or I would never ask my wife to do it, and uh, birth control fucks you up real bad. So I would never ask her to not take birth control. So. Yeah, you know, well, I, I would never get snipped either. I don't think because I just I don't like the idea of someone going in my balls with sh- sharp mm. stuff. No, I just read an article today that I almost sent to you about a couple that just got pregnant after her husband had a successful vasectomy. Well, after like she's three fucking years. somebody. <laughs> no, <laughs> did they do a she's DNA test? I'm sure they did. Somebody. It uh, does happen, but it's pretty rare. They're like, it's 99% effective or something. It's like, well, it's that 1% we're worried about. Well, they, that sn- happens. they like snip the tube and just like leave it there. Ooh, like, oh, like they don't gross. like some, the doctors that do them successfully actually snip the tube and loop them back and tie them so that they're <laughs> looped back and tied. So even if anything comes out, it's coming out in the opposite direction and it, oh my it's God. not going to make it. I was going to say, if they just leave them floating in there, you don't think there's a single sperm that's like, oh, I'm going to make it to the other side of that tube. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the sound of right. my sperms. Uh, well, dude, so I know you don't really keep up on the news and stuff like that, and fucking more power to you, but I also I know you're on man. Instagram, so I know you don't miss everything, and I'm not doing a whole show on the Trump shooting or anything, but... <laughs> it's I, good. Yeah, there's so plenty of them out there. It, if, yeah. if you want to hear them, they're fucking yeah. out there. I don't, I'm not doing that. But you did have a... I saw you posted on uh, Instagram about the dumb video I shared, but... So what is your, if, you know, in five minutes or less, your general opinion of what happened with that? With the Trump thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I I I mean I knew something was going to come that would really ignite just the full on Trump Messiah syndrome, like full fucking on. And the Bible even talks about this shit. They've been telling us what they were going to do for a very long time. You know, the Bible isn't some history lesson. It's their fucking plan. 
Like, if you look at it right, this is the plan, and you need to pay attention because it's easy to see. Um, and I'm just, I'm kind of over the fact that people keep falling for this shit. So it's just, it mesmerizes that people still do. And, you know, I take a few minutes a day out of my time to, you know, ridicule Trumpers. Uh, and, you know, it makes me, it's my little vent. It's my little release. It's like, you oh, I see, I see you scratching your ass. Yeah. Scr scratching your itch i see you scratching your itch on instagram yeah it's great yeah I love it. those fucking it's it's so insane <laughs> um and trump's gonna take the guns watch out everybody trump's coming for your fucking guns he even said i like to take guns i take guns early to process later like hmm. direct donald trump quote so now, don't I, try I don't, on me if they're gonna keep falling for it i'll keep laughing at them you know yeah well, like I, mean, I told it's just, my wife, uh, I'd eventually like to get to a point to where I'm way fuck off in the middle of nowhere, and I don't even know what's going on in society. Like, I, I want to go meet amazing. that one tribe, those uncontacted tribes, go out there and make <laughs> friends with them and be like, take me in. I'll chuck spears at white people if you want to. Dude, I'd even be, like, if there's anybody who knows, has a connection in the Amish community, uh, are you taking applications? Like, how do I? Yeah, how do you join how do, that? How do I get in? Because I'm fucking down at this point in time. Your beard's I, about halfway there, I'd say. Right. And we just need right. to start calling you like Zacharias or something. And... Right. I, they'd probably make me shave my mustache because they do that kind of silly shit, which just looks weird. So maybe I could convince them not to make me do that. You're like, it looks weird. Can I keep that part But at this of it? point in time, like, fuck it. If you'll let me in, man, I whatever you say, I don't care. <laughs> they look like they're want... having a decent time over there. We did a whole show with uh, Steve from BG Cast about uh, making sourdough and all that stuff. And I'm like, well, I think the Amish might have it right. They're doing some they're, things right. You know, their retention rate is like remarkably high. Like they have Rumspringer, right? Where they send their new adults out into society and you get to go out there, experience it. If you like it, cool. Knock yourself out. But you don't get to come back. Like, once you choose that, you chose that. And that's, you're done. Um, and they have, like, a fucking 95% retention rate. It's fucking retarded. It How might long? be because, I mean, once they get out into society, society's probably going to shun them for the way that they just are in general. Like, they have no social norms. Like, they don't know how to bit... act and interact in the general public. So I imagine they would get hardcore made fun of to the point where they're like fuck this place they're a little bit set up, set up for failure and i don't know well, in a bad way but it's it's where they've grown up like that you know it's 100 percent right. a brilliant psyop on the kids because you're telling them that they have the freedom to go choose this but in reality it's kind of like oh my god he's gonna get made fun of so bad but they're and just they ill prepared have, yeah. they only yeah and they only have it for so long that where they feel accepted is like well, it was cool to go out and experience the rest of the world, but what I know and where I'm accepted and where people love me is back there, and it's just easier than change. So I think I'm well, going to go back. No, and I mean, people that have grown up in this system want to get out of it. So I could see where somebody right. coming from a simple sure. life like that, moving to New York City for six months or something, going, fuck this. I miss my cornfields and my weird beard. I'm going to go back there. Oh, I totally dude, get sensory it. Sensory overload to just like the millionth power like can you imagine can you imagine like not knowing 99 percent of the technology i mean they they kind of do engage with the societies that are around their little camps whatever wherever the fuck those are nobody knows um but every now and again you'll see like amish motherfuckers at the store or you know whatever and they make they barter and trade with the you know, society now, they're not completely isolated away, right? Well, there's, they just there's... don't use electricity. They don't have cars. They, they And they do that not for a religious reason. Most people think that they, they're all weird and shit because of religion. No, man, they know the rules. And they know that they cannot be involved in those rules or else they're part of the machine. And so they've gone, okay, I don't, we don't need electricity. We don't need cars. We don't want to have anything to do with your fucked up world. None of it. Isn't it weird that the Amish became like the most punk rock thing that you could be? <laughs> I think it's, I think it's very telling as to where we are in the world today. 
like yeah. punk rock people are not near as punk rock as fucking Amish people. They're like, fuck you. I'll turn my own butter, bitch. I don't need your <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, <laughs> punk rockers now are like, fuck you. I won't do what you tell me. Oh shit, mom. I have an appointment at the DMV to renew my license. Yeah. Yeah. You got people like Henry Rollins that are like, get out there and vote. <laughs> what <laughs> did you just say? Fuck you. That's not the punk I remember. No, man. The fucking 1980s Henry Rollins would kick your fucking ass <laughs> for being such a status bitch. <laughs> Don't ever meet your heroes, not later in life, right? Hey, no, not, there was not a once they become uh, 60 year old lefty lunatics. Don't don't meet the, your heroes then, especially. Meet them back when they're yeah. 17, still for, full of fire. Yeah, when they're fuck everything. Yeah. Well, dude, so I know you didn't, you said you didn't bring any uh, stories, but we have more interesting news to get onto than, Let's you know, crowd it, strike or Trump or Biden probably being dead or whatever. He, who cares? He probably is. Cool with me, man. I'm, I'm trying to crack my second beer and get this going. Let's do it. So let's see. I think, well, I don't know if there's any videos on this one, but we'll just start it out. So it's already sharing, right? Can you guys see that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. And how odd it is to be starting it with poop. I uh, well, it's just the first one that popped up. I don't know. You know, it's not surprising that that's the dude that got caught throwing shit. Like that's hundred percent believable. Like, yep. <laughs> yep. So the uh, the headline on this one is crappy nappy. 18-year-old arrested for assault after flinging feces-filled diaper at his brother. Eat it! Eat it! Eat it! Uh! <laughs> so get, I'll give everybody in the audio one guess where this guy's from. Florida. Ding, Florida. <laughs> one Florida man took a sibling dispute to particularly dirty level. Damien Caston was arrested after he reportedly flung a feces-filled diaper at his brother during an argument at their Florida home. Police said Caston, 18, was arrested for domestic battery. Uh, according to an arrest affidavit, the 18-year-old stinker butted, stinker butted heads, well, with his sibling over ongoing domestic issues, uh, in their St. Petersburg home. Casting, who police said was paralyzed but ambulatory by using his upper body. Oh, so he's a a, a, a paraplegic. Is that yeah, where you can use your upper body? So he's in a wheelchair flinging poo diapers. Hey, I'm giving this guy a pass. He can't even move. Right. Keep... Wait, was his brother supposed to change his fucking diaper? And he was shit it his, in his diaper? diaper. Right. Let's let's read on. Oh. He's accused of damaging walls inside the home during an argument with his brother. The perpetrator allegedly started to display aggressive behavior towards his sibling and an unarmed witness. Caston was reportedly throwing objects at the pair. According to the Globe, authorities explain that in an effort to control the situation, the two objects of Caston's anger carried the two hundred pound individual outdoors for everyone's safety. What? <laughs> Uh, while the victims were able to remove the perpetrator from the home, they weren't out of danger just yet. While outside, Caston reportedly whipped off his full diaper. Okay, so it was his own yep. diaper. Which is also drenched with urine. You know, just extra. It's, it's got pee and poop. Yes. Threw it at his brother, hitting him in the chest. Uh, the victim then called police. <laughs> After resp or a responding officer noted, remnants of the diaper were seen on the front porch and on the stomach of the victim. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so he's probably not as someone there either, because that's right. not oh, no yeah. one calls the someone cops on that. with with brothers. I get it. I totally fucking get it. Like I'm not even mad at this motherfucker. What it more? I've wanted to show you... throw shit at my brothers, and I'm not even fucking paraplegic. Yeah, like Ben. I mean, what more of a disc could I do to you than throw my own brother <laughs> poop at you in my diaper while I'm in a wheelchair? I like, mean, that, that's a giant honest, fuck you. <laughs> to be completely honest, if you were already in a diaper, I would kind of just expect you at some point to do that. Like, I can't imagine you not being able to walk or being in a diaper. But I do imagine that should you not be able to walk and are in a diaper, you are definitely throwing it at people. Not just me, but people <laughs> and dogs Going and cats chimpanzee and children. You. 100%. Yeah, this, that's the, definitely it throwing would them at the animals. Man, man throws diaper at random strangers at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> so he was then arrested and taken into custody. No weapon was seized besides a poo poo diaper. Uh, now authorities say he faces a misdemeanor for the foul stunt. 
Uh, oh, he was really he's booked and released. Yeah, I would hope so. How are you going to keep that guy in there? He's going to throw poo on the cops. Right. Wow. I don't think I've ever read that type of story before. I mean, adult diaper with poo and pee. None flung of it his brother. is surprising. The way he looks, the fact that it was Florida. It's like <laughs> I'm back on this guy. Here, the stars just aligned. As much as I really hope this was a true story and that dude did throw shit at his brother, because I'm sure he deserved it in one in one way or another. Brothers always do. I'm sure I deserved it from my brothers at some point too. But like, how many of these stories do you think are just AI? Oh, so we've many started of them. to think Talk that about it all the time. a lot. I yeah, say that yeah. all the time on our show. Like, we'll read an article and I'm like, AI. This one, to be honest, I was wondering, is there an author? I was wondering if this was an AI article too, because they use words like feces and urine, but then make like stupid dad jokes about it, which most articles really don't do that. Well, right. a lot of these fucking, it doesn't say who it was written by. It does not. Well, that's weird. Uh, but what's funny is a lot of these, like, yeah, I could vet them or something and go look at the whatever in that county and try to find an actual arrest record and all that but i don't care it's funny either way if it's ai well done right. ai like, <laughs> fair enough this is no, a, it happened in some dimension somewhere yeah I'm, you're not coming we're, here to hear just, actual info it's crazy that we're in a in a time where that's even a thing like it like we have to question <laughs> yeah. every literally everything right like i was watching and and these are guilty pleasures of mine because I like making fun of them. Um, I was watching the Fast and Furious movie, like Fast 10 or whatever it fucking is. Like, 57. They made like 700 of them. <laughs> um, and the whole movie looked fake. The whole movie. I'm like, my wife came in and started laughing at me. I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I said, but look at it. Like, it all looks like computer generated everything. And she most of them are like, oh fuck you know how much like, cheaper that is to do than actually film on set in a real city and get, well not even real actors red tape. right like yeah. it's just they've got so much footage in it because paul walker's in it paul walker's oh. been dead for a fucking long time dude and he's in this movie but that also makes me go off into other theories yeah about maybe he's not actually dead and they're just I mean, Bruce Willis signed over his likeness, so he's going to be in movies, and he can't even move. He's a vegetable. So maybe, uh, what was his name? The other guy, Fast and Furious? Paul Walker. Paul Walker. Paul Walker. Maybe yeah. he posthumously gave away his likeness. Who knows? Right. Whoever's or in charge of his estate. Maybe he didn't, and they were like, mm, fucking taking it. Somebody yeah, but if he's under rights. contract, right? <laughs> like, if he's under contract... It might be that they just own his likeness already because he's already signed up for a certain amount of movies, right? You and then they, they keep fucking... all the profit. Yep. Yeah. Just... All right, next one. So this isn't really that surprising either. This does have a name by Adriana Diaz, and this is on NY Post. So I'm going to assume, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, that an actual person wrote this, but never, never just assume. So penis size predicting dating app matches couple sexual mojo using just photos of their hands penis and penis probably uh so the, the first line is give the lady a hand women have forever been sneaking peeks at a man's mitts in an effort to determine the size of his penis I, isn't that a myth though i don't know i'll have to check it out later Pretty now sure one curious gal who confesses to being obsessed with the paws of her prospective paramours stop doing this people that's stupid. i thought i thought it was shoes or i thought it was foot size that's what that's the joke, I guess, but yeah. Uh she's developed a titillating new tool that she claims can deliver an accurate oh, prediction goodness. and more just using a photo of their hand. What are you going to hold up for reference though, like so you know, cuz if you just hold up a picture of your hand, you can't how tell can how you big tell, it is. How can you tell like right. if are I go like, like this to the camera, I look like I would have one huge schlong, but it doesn't about change angles. the fact I don't. <laughs> like look at this random fucking video that's trying to describe it. It's showing an eggplant uh, and a finger yeah. meeting oh. on the phone. <laughs> uh, size him can tell you the size and shape of a man's penis and then match your sexual compa compatibility using only photos of your hands. Slay's a freak. I'm telling you that right now. That was when they cool. explained to me that hand proportions can tell what is in the pants and that when your body proportions are similar with your partners, there's a higher probability that you will have a really good sex life. And she's 40. How okay. did they gather the data for this? Well, maybe like, we'll how did... see. <laughs> 
how did the app what, who, get I, so who much wrote, information? Who wrote the code? Right they surveyed there. 10 dudes. <laughs> They've got some fucking algorithm, some code that was written that that does this. I mean, does do like if they're pairing them up, are they is there something for women too that is like depth of vagina? I was gonna say, is it is it like a tuna <laughs> like, can in there? What's because going on? Right, like the average depth of a vagina is four inches. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> um, and the average size of a penis is like five point two five in- inches, right? Like so five. And the average size of a man who Google's average penis size is three and a half inches. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't ever Google it. You check my fucking history. <laughs> That's it's just information ahead. that I have come across, right? Uh huh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just information i've come across i like and, story yeah, yeah yeah sure um but is there something for women that is you know correlates like is it size of hands it means the size of boobs you have or you know distance from here to here or whatever or, the fuck <laughs> what would be easier is you just make them take a a non-angled picture of themselves and be like ha i knew you were lying but see, if you were to do that kind of thing, it'd be misogynistic, and they would cancel you immediately. So, but I just—it doesn't say how they came across their results, but it does say that the right. site's calculations will also then predict which of the seven penis types. There are seven penis types. Didn't know that either. There's the curved Only up seven? banana or C shape, bender, cucumber, big shaft, big head, mushroom, or pencil. <laughs> bender. <laughs> so everybody knows the seven types of penises now. You're fucking welcome. Boner. It's not little, it's thin. I have no idea why. Oh my god. Well, that's why it's playing at retard. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, before we move on to the next one, so I, I mentioned this next one on Instagram. It's a man uses a funnel to pour a margarita in a woman's butt at a restaurant. So stick oh, stick fuck. around for that. But I did want to bring up our uh oh, hang on. Okay, there we go. Yes, mental performance shots. Magic mind. Thank you. And we just got our second box in from these guys, and I'm going to be sad when it's gone. Ben, I have yours in the fridge still since you need to pick yours up. Thank you. Yeah, we've talked about it before on the show, but it's got uh, adaptogens, nootropics, and all these, uh, all the mushrooms and all that stuff that everyone's raving about, turmeric, matcha, vitamin C. Uh, why is this button not working? There we go. And it doesn't have a bunch of sugar either. It's got agave in it, which is sugar, but you know it's it's better for you than just regular sugar. Uh, it's got lion's mane, cordyceps, rhodolia rosea. What is that? It just says supports long-term energy, enhances endurance while reducing stress and fatigue, which is kind of in line with the ashwagandha that's in there too, which we love that too. Yeah, I like, it's like all this stuff that we put in our smoothies. But yes, you need to come pick yours up, Ben. Yeah, otherwise it's going to be gone. Sorry. It also has a vitamin B (laughs) complex in it, too. So, yeah, it's really crazy. I do miss it when I don't have it uh, to the point where I might just use our own promo code, LegitBatPod20, uh, to go get some more. Because they do send us some, but it's not enough, man. I need it every day. You hear me, Ella? Yeah? No. Thanks for the team over there, though, for being so, uh, you know accommodating with our schedule sometimes we can't get these episodes out quick enough but thanks for being uh you know accommodating and we appreciate that but you can go to magicmind.com slash legit bat pod 20 or use the promo code legit bat pod 20 and you can save on a prescription uh, a subscription thank you but thank you magic mind love that stuff i am not in georgia next page what are you doing uh-oh no uh, what, have what you happened done? i fucked up the next story hang on Oh, no, I just hit the wrong button. Okay. So, yeah, I like I said, I put this on Instagram, but it was just a screenshot of the article. And I couldn't tell. Yeah, I couldn't tell for sure if it was a real story. But Jen had looked it up immediately and said it was. So I don't know if it's a real story. I just know it wasn't just a meme. It wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't a, a fake created picture. Yeah, of a story that doesn't exist. It's a story, but I don't know if this really happened. It's hilarious either way. Yeah. Again, if it's AI, well done. So this is in Georgia, not Florida, surprisingly. A uh, man and right woman are border. facing charges. They're both facing charges. Wow. After, after reports said the man attempted to use a funnel to pour a margarita down the woman's butt at, they di- as they dined at a Mexican restaurant in South Georgia. 
What? Joe Boyett and Mary Sweat were arrested this week for misdemeanor public indecency after a video of their X-rated stunt went viral on social media, TMZ first reported. The arrest came after Sweat, her name was Sweat too, that's disgusting, called the police to complain about the video being leaked online. So she called the police on herself to complain about the video being leaked, and then they were like, oh, well, now you're going to get arrested. Uh, yeah, well, so wait, it took place three wait, months ago. you did it yeah. at a restaurant, and you're mad about a video being leaked. Well, because they were sober when they found it, and they're like, shit, do you remember that night? I don't. The, co that is still the cops are like, thank you for calling in. Yeah, it's fucking disgusting. We know we're coming. <laughs> is the picture But chugging here? a fucking margarita in... In a restaurant. That's a whole new uh, mean, level of butt chugging. Usually you do it the other way, where you put it into is the butt. In? It would be great if it was, it like, was in Georgia. state. You know, okay. like Close enough is... to Florida. Yeah. It's like, it's like a first date, and she just sprung it on him. Like, hey, I want you to pour that margarita up my ass. I'm going to show and you how weird I am. It's a he deal breaker thought, if you won't do it. He thought, yeah, she was totally out of his league, right? Like, this is my hypothetical. She's totally out of his league, but she has to do that because she's a freak and she can only get ugly guys to do her kink, right? So she <laughs> goes on a date with an ugly dude and she's like, all right, I'll let you fuck me. But first, <laughs> you're going to pour that margarita in my ass. She also knows how drunk she's going to get from that and then she will be okay with fucking the ugly guy. <laughs> right. So uh, and what he's... I'm trying to... F Go ahead. What? Oh, no, what okay, I'm trying to figure out is that... He actually poured it into the hole. So it says screen screen grabs of the explicit act published by multiple outlets, including the New York Post, showed a woman on all fours inside a restaurant booth as a man attempted to use a funnel to pour a drink down her rear end. So I don't know if it was into the hole or just like like that they just pour it off the butt. I don't know. When yeah, that but didn't that'd work, be like ice block. Was there anybody below it to catch it? Or were you just I think that's what he was doing or trying on to the do. floor? What a waste. So when he when he used a funnel, which where'd you get a funnel unless you planned this before you went to who brings a funnel Obviously to a restaurant? They Come on. It. When that didn't work, he abandoned the funnel and poured it directly from a glass. Waycross police told WALB TV that Boyette identified himself as the man in the video in a Facebook post. This may be a good time to start selling content. Hit me up for Cash App. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the Hawk Tour chick. She's like, hold, hold on I can make money. So Hell yeah. He he, right. he brought a funnel to a restaurant to pour a margarita down her poop chute. It's like, not only did they plan this, but clearly they, she really wanted this particular margarita from this restaurant because right. there had to have been a conversation about which one was her favorite. I've done them all, man. The best ones are at it. Yeah, they don't have the video. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, the rest of it was just the restaurant saying, we want to make it clear that such behavior is completely unacceptable. And is that something you really need? No, what they really said is <laughs> knowing the nice way. Now, now they have a sign on their front door that says no butt chugging margaritas. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this yeah. is where stupid shit like those signs come from. And weird signs you wouldn't that's think you'd have to tell. Made, yeah. it's because that happened right. one time. And now they gotta that's make why a there's a it. fucking sign every time you open the hood of your car that says do not stick hand in fan while it's running. Yeah. Like, like, cause people are just that stupid. You know, there was, <laughs> you know, there was some chug margaritas in public they... or at all. Uh, you know, that there was some waiter that's like, you want to try salsa next? <laughs> right. <laughs> Do you need sour cream? Is it burning? <laughs> <laughs> um, I can now like, getting well, an itch on your stink dude, button. Uh, this, this is the world we live in, man. We live in a world where people are butt chugging margaritas at in public. Fucking... El and, Chico's. And yeah. need their Colorado <laughs> Rockies to turn color so they know their beer is blue. Yeah. And their right. beer is cold. Thank cold. you, Coors. Fuck. Jesus. <laughs> this brought to, this episode brought to you by Coors Light. You can tell if your beer is cold. No, they're not <laughs> actually a sponsor. And if you can't, <laughs> no more beer. No more beer. <laughs> All right, what's next? So we got New Jersey dad arrested for decapitating seagull after it tried to eat daughter's fries, which is fair. Where is he? At? I mean, uh, in New Jersey. No way. Seagulls eat Joey everything. Joey doesn't share food. <laughs> man, <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever met him? <laughs> a man from southern New Jersey was arrested after losing his temper and decapitating a seagull who tried to eat some of his daughter's fries. Local law enforcement officials say they responded to calls of animal cruelty at Maury's Pier, located at Who Gives a Shit. Court documents show that 29 year old Franklin Ziegler. 
Hey, Frankie was arrested by police after he admitted to ripping the seagull's head off after it attempted to steal his daughter's french fries. He subsequent, subsequently walked up to the Maurice Pierce staff while holding the headless bird and asked for trash bags to dispose of the animal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, that was nice of him. I didn't think anybody cared about <laughs> seagulls, so, you know. That used know. to be just a turn of the phrase. Man, they almost tore my head off. Like, no, that guy's going to tear your fucking head off. He's from New Jersey. I'm New surprised Jersey. he didn't just stuff the whole thing in his Jeez, mouth or something. Fucking East Coast people. <laughs> and New but Jersey to boot. When when I was a kid, my cousin used to always tell me that if you go to the beach to take uh, Alka-Seltzer and feed it to the birds because they can't burp <laughs> and it makes them blow up. <laughs> I've heard that. I've not yet put it to practice. I, I never was... I never tried it. I was too scared to try it. Can you imagine that fucking tweet conversation? I got a fart so bad. <laughs> like, dude, I feel like I'm gonna blow up. Boom! <laughs> hey, holy shit, Mike. Mike. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is such a from what I know of that area, this is such a New Jersey thing to do. Hey, you steal my daughter's fries? And just fucking rips his head off. And then he's a gentleman, so he asks for bags so he can clean it up and he doesn't inconvenience other patrons. That's nice of him. Well, he's so a he was, true Jersey short guy, man. He's just trying to keep the pier clean. <laughs> what level of grease do you think he had in his hair? All of it. Like pomade greasy? <laughs> Uh, so he was charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. So by the time the cops got there, he was. I want to know who called the cop on, or called the cops on him. If I'm the server, I'd just be like, "Dude, fucking narcs, man!" Yeah, just throw it in the garbage or something. Like, who cares? Dude, that would be the insane. Cops. You're at a family, in the at a family place, and he's ripping a seagull's head off. <laughs> That's gonna startle a lot of people. I'm sorry. I bet he got called by like at least ten to fifteen people. Probably called the police at the same time. It has a picture of a live seagull on this article. Yeah, yeah. what do you think they're going to do? <laughs> Why wouldn't you just throw it in the ocean? They're going to put on, on a picture of Dumb and Dumber is what they're going to do with this pretty birdie. Yeah, Those good French birdie. French fries look duct tape real on. fucking good, though. I know, I was looking at that. I am a sucker for French fries, so, I mean, if it was sweet potato fries, I probably would have done the same thing. I'm just saying I don't <laughs> condone ripping heads off birds, but I get where he was coming from. That's it. I he was 72? Uh, oh, another uh, another Florida, yeah, Florida girl this time. Oh God! Florida bride to be arrested for beating up groom in a wild fight over a prenup. Uh, she'll take thee to the oh, hospital. Jesus. Oh Jesus! She, she have looks just like been she lucky. Would. She was getting she... married. What's Close the that? prenup Florida. for? What do they have? I don't know. What does we she have? Gotten, that's like, so three important. Words into the article. Let's see. A bride to be in Florida got so furious during a wild fight over a prenuptial agreement, she allegedly beat up her groom and. And bit his brother a few days before their wedding. Uh, Megan Rose or Molly Rose Hogan, 26, exploded into a booze fueled argument with her unidentified fiance over the wedding contract at their home. Oh, also in St. Petersburg. Wow. You guys are just on a roll. Prompting her to grab his head and pummel him in the chest, legs, and torso. Uh, when her soon to be brother in law intervened to protect his sibling, she allegedly flew into a fit of rage and chomped down on his arm. The husband-to-be, who was set to marry Hogan on Saturday, attempted to escape from her multiple times. He was ultimately pulled away from his raging bride by witnesses who corroborated his account of the attack. So she just went full schizo. So let's yeah. see if they say the nature I was gonna say, of this. Spoiler on, alert. What, what, no wedding. What did the prenup say? <laughs> it doesn't even say. It says I, that, I all think it says this was is an the AI fight article. was sparked by a heated argument over a prenup agreement. Hogan didn't immediately return a request for comment from the Post. It's Yay. probably an AI generated image. It's just like the last one where it's showing someone in like an orange jumpsuit, like under arrest or whatever. It's but... just from uh, this person doesn't exist.com. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. That's my guess for Great sure. Website. Well, let's do a reverse image search on this page and see. No, I'm just kidding. I don't care. So if you want to look her up, Molly Rose Hogan, I wonder if she's got you a You can't Facebook. put a picture of someone who looks like they live in West Virginia or Florida and then say they had a prenup. Like, get the fuck out of here. It was, it was scribbled When on you a sign a prenup, you have fucking money. They don't look like they have a goddamn thing. I'm sorry. No, it, was, uh, <laughs> it was on a post-it note or something. Yeah, on a napkin. This is the prenup. All right. Well, that... That's a real buzzkill. There was no information about the prenup. That's pertinent <laughs> information to the fucking article. Like, <laughs> yeah. What, uh... what possibly could it have said? I mean, 
I know it would have been. Is she not able to smoke meth anymore? They like, don't even it... have so social media. I'm sure. So who's gonna? They won't even know. <laughs> there's uh, there's a lot of people I know that have broken up because one person didn't have a prenup in their head at all, and took offense to the fact that the other person was like, "Um, yeah, I think it's a good idea for both of us." And they're like, "Well, are you planning on getting a divorce?" And I've no, I've watched it people that is what split them up and they never ended up getting married just the fact that one person wanted it and the other person didn't and i'm yeah, like that's how, that wasn't yeah, that's solid to be begin is. with so anybody who lives in hollywood there's an actor or musician they all have prenups not only because they have money because they're genuinely assuming at some point they're gonna get a divorce like they go into right. it thinking this could last six months to two years but i'm definitely gonna get divorced at some point so we gotta have a prenup what a wild way to live right <laughs> All right, so next right. one, we've got some cock news in here. Uh, man, 68, has to have part of his penis amputated after it turned gangrenous during, due to using a sex aid for too long. This guy's a faggot. Oh, it says graphic content warning. <laughs> Ew! Ew! It shows it this all blurred is, out. This has got to be AI, too. That's like Adam Sandler's black foot. Let's see, well, let's see how Mr. Deeds. let's see how good ChatGPT is getting. So, an American man had to have the head of his penis cut off. That's the best part. What are you talking about? After wearing an erection-boosting sex ring for an entire day, medics who treated 68-year-old oh. were forced to peel away layers of dead tissue uh, in the horrific case, but found the tip couldn't be saved and had to be removed. However, in an apparent world first of its kind, medic used part of the man's thigh to rebuild part of the fist penis. That's got to be weird looking. The unnamed patient told doctors from the University of California's Department of Urology that he had worn the ring, which boosts an erection by trapping blood in the genitals for about 24 hours. You're supposed to call a doctor after four hours, dude, and you kept that thing on for 24? No wonder you had to have your top of your dick cut off. This guy I think it would take it. more than 24 hours to get king green, though. I don't know. Yeah, so, and that's oh, usually for... remove it. That's, okay. He's talking... It's a, it's a ring, dude. He's not talking about taking a pill that gives you an erection. Yeah, but I mean, if... you can just oh, slide so... those typically on and off. But up at 68, this guy was, if he's using a cock ring, he probably wasn't able to get that fucker off. L listen to the way it's worded being unable to remove it from his engorged member by hand, he then resorted to using pliers to pry it off. Oh, oh, uh, he's got a picture of his apparent cock rings, I guess. Uh, but shockingly, he only sought aid from medics a week later after experiencing problems urinating. Oh, my God. oh, oh what the enough. fuck? That's, Documenting that's long enough. The surgery in I the, think we're good on this one. In the journal Urology Case <laughs> Reports, medics said at the point of admission, the man's penis was abnormally purple colored with blistered skin and yellow <laughs> patches. <laughs> oh, he was homeless, too. Okay, I take it back. Where'd he get a cock ring? He pr right? It's probably just I'm something from the garbage. It's just something. It was like a bottle cap. It's like it's not a cock like, ring. Yeah. It sounds like it wasn't a cock ring at all. Oh uh, yeah. So it says he was chewing on it. It said it was ne it was necrotic, which is a gross word. So okay, let's move on. Jesus, sorry. Uh, but... I, I'm I'm the typical American, and I don't actually read the article. I just read the headline and then go on with my day, believing exactly what I read. So I should have read that first. Sorry. Yeah, that one was tough, man. Uh, one more poop story. Port Angeles poopatrator jailed after restaurant offense. What is with people doing weird shit in restaurants? Is but this thank one you, because Port Angeles, where is that? Does it say? Yeah, look up Port Angeles. Port Angeles police report a man was jailed Tuesday after defecating in front of a restaurant and its employees, and then Washington. wandering into the street, causing an accident. You no, know, Washington. Yeah. Same the police. Thing. The police sergeant, that does make sense. Uh, police sergeant says it was just before 7 a.m. Tuesday when 58-year-old Darren Carlson began banging on the windows of the Chestnut Cottage restaurant. Because they were not open yet, the employees didn't let him in, as you do. Rife says it was at that time that Carlson removed his clothing and relieved himself on the front patio as employees <laughs> called police. Carlson then walked into traffic at the corner of Front and Race Streets, causing a driver to slam on their brakes, which led to a rear-end collision. This guy's just leaving a trail of carnage. Police, like literally. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Police arrived, gave Carlson a plastic bag, and told him to pick up his waist on the patio. They reported he picked it up with his bare hand and put it in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Nice. Of course he did. He's like, "Fuck you!" Now arrest that me. Put some cuffs like on you, these Joe. hands. Oh my god, that's great. 
kind of backing this guy too. <laughs> right. He got so mad that like they maybe wouldn't, he wouldn't just, let him in. He just hit his limit, man. He was. It's like uh, what's that movie with Michael Keaton? Um, or not Michael Keaton. Uh, Michael Douglas falling down. Where you're just oh, like, yeah, that's a great that movie. That fucking that that last thing that just sends him over the edge. Maybe maybe that was this restaurant not being open. He was like, it, he just was at his limit. He's like, fuck He's it, if I could just already go to this having place a bad day and get my motherfucking burrito, everything will be okay. And he goes and they're closed. And he's like, fuck it, I'm shitting on the patio. <laughs> Living in the forest now. I'm gonna cause a car, car wreck on my way out of here. Fuck you. All right. He's just like, fuck everything. Hey, again, fair. So I do have one more story before we get out of here. I had sent a meme of this. Again, it was another one of those memes that I was like, oh, this isn't real. And it still might not be. But uh, more than a dozen sharks test positive for cocaine. I actually believe this. So where it's well, at, Brazil. I this too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I believe that. Drug dealers well, throw fucking like... kilos. Rand Paul or something that like pointed out one time the government had um, experiments with like mating practices of doves on cocaine or some shit. So... I believe it. This Whoa. sounds like something Fauci would do, <laughs> or Hunter Biden. But yeah, so it does more than a dozen sharks living off the coast of Brazil tested positive for cocaine. A total of thirteen Brazilian sharp-nosed sharks were tested by scientists who discovered the cocaine in both the muscle tissue and liver of the sharks, so it's relatively fresh if it's in their liver, liver right? Uh, the sharks were chosen both because of their small size and that they live in the coastal waters and are in close proximity to a significant contaminant discharge. Yeah. Uh, it's the first time the drug has ever been detected in free-range sharks. It's probably the first time you ever... How many times have they it. tested for it? Right. It's the first time. <laughs> is this a, is this something that they test for often? It's just like, you I know what? Doubt. Uh, see if it's a male or female. If it's a female, see if it's pregnant and um yeah. test for cocaine. How many times <laughs> how, how many times have you tested for cocaine? Uh, quarterly. So it doesn't <laughs> we say We test that. every shark for coke. It just said the study Absence found that the, co- the 70s says that the cocaine levels in the 13 sharks had a concentration as much as 100 times higher than previously reported for other aquatic creatures. Apparently, they've tested other creatures before. But <laughs> it says the, the cocaine con- concentration in muscle tissue is higher in female sharks than in their male counterparts. They believe the rise in cocaine consumption around the world is most likely the cause. Yeah, probably. As around 22% of users of the drug... Of users of the drug users... What? Okay, it's AI. Yeah, <laughs> is it from South fucking America. eating some coked up fuck that just wandered into the ocean? He probably like, just took a he probably took a cocaine dump in the ocean and just they got it from that. They ate fucking Richard Pryor and that's what fucking happened. Jesus. <laughs> oh, what a what a retarded planet. I mean, flat motionless plane that we live on. Oh, that's uh, so wild, what do you got man. going on for the rest? That's all the stories I got, but what do you got going on for the rest of the, the year until we catch up again? Man, working. Working. That's, that's always. Pretty much all of us, yeah. Yeah, man, I got five kids, uh, a beautiful wife that I have to keep impressed with things that I do. So uh, That's a full-time job as it is. So, so uh, <laughs> she... She oh, is she in there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, so yeah, the work continues. I I may or may not start my podcast again. I think about it a lot, but I don't know. The more I think about my last episode and the title of it, I think that's a good mic drop. Um, if you want to find me, you can listen to me on Are We Content with Chud, the Great Chud X. Nice. Uh, we do that weekly, but we've kind of been on hiatus. Because Chud just had his baby, so. Uh, are you ever We've on the uh, Conspiracy Theater 3000 with Drew and Ryan? Uh, yeah, and... we do that once a month. Oh, okay, cool. Though, man, it's so hard to line up because Drew's way the fuck off in oh, Australia. Yeah. And it's so hard to do episodes with him that it, it, it gets frustrating for all of us, I'm, I'm sure. That is a great show, though. I've listened to a couple of them. I listened to the one you did uh, probably about a year ago about the Truman Show. And just covering, you know, movies like that in a... A different, you know, perspective, I guess we'll call it. But the Truman right. Show is a great one. It's a it's a fun little show we do once a month. Uh, Conspiracy Theater 3000. Other than that, 
this work we just moved so trying to settle into this place you know it takes about six months to get fucking settled into a place so yeah where'd you get moved uh i lived just outside of austin and we just kind of moved three blocks from where we were gotcha nice do you still have your chickens and stuff yeah not near as many we only have what 15 now 15 oh is that all (laughs) i have three (laughs) (laughs) well at one point in time man we had like well over 100 oh damn that's so much poop yeah yeah it was a lot we were breeding, so we always we had incubators going all the time and shit. So nice. um, we just always had tons of chickens. It got to the point to where we quit counting them. Like it was, it was impossible to fucking count them all. So we it was. Just That's how like, your friend okay. is. Oh yeah. Oh Matt, he probably yeah. has. You'll find dead ones knows? out there all the time. It's like, oh, that one died, but they ate it, so whatever. Yeah, and they will. They're little fucking dinosaurs. Yep. Oh, yeah. They're crazy. The little velociraptors. Reason. Dude, the only reason we're not on the menu is a size discrepancy. Those motherfuckers would eat us quick as shit. That's all <laughs> they do is eat. If it fits, they eat it. So, I mean, yep. if we were to fit, oh, we'd dude. be chicken food. You see them cruise around in the backyard chasing shit? Yeah. But, <laughs> it's like the Roadrunner. They're like, Bruh. wouldn't be able to get away from that. Nope. <laughs> well, dude, good to catch they up with you arms. again. Yeah, man, and, thanks uh, for having me on, guys. Yeah, yeah, maybe we'll have you and Chud on some time and do kind of a crossover episode between you guys. And fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, thanks, Ben. Thanks for you. Looked like you're sleepy. Yeah. So, yeah, everybody, have a great rest of your week. Uh, go check out Magic Mine and get some chickens. The fuck yes. Thank you for listening to Legit Pet. Please address all content grievances to gofuckyourself at yourman.com. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs>